We're here with Franklin Pierce head men's lacrosse coach Rick Senator. The Franklin Pierce men's lacrosse team concluded the season ranked uh, fifth in the Northeast region, uh, highest ranking ever for the program. And, uh, and coach, in, in your first year to to get that ranking and to, uh, of course, set the program record for wins uh, in a in a single season overall and conference. Just talk about uh, the ranking and how this first season has really uh, helped and get the program moving in the direction where you want it to be. Well, I'd say um, that uh, you know the, the ranking in the top five uh, in New England uh, is just a testament to, to the improvement that the team's made. Uh, you know, the ranking is 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 uh, done by a poll of coaches in New England and um you know with some of the wins we had and some of the games that we were that we played tough um you know, obviously helped to get those those rankings something we're real proud of and something that we've never done before so uh it, it's a great accomplishment uh for these guys I know that uh you know there were a couple losses this year where the the team competed you know very hard and 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 had a chance to win games and you know, I don't know if there were times when maybe some of the players wanted to hang their heads, but you guys have had some tangible things as the season has wound down to really show the players that there has been growth in the programs going. Uh, uh, you know, Ben McDaniel to the uh, Northeast 10 all-rookie team, and of course this ranking, you get a win late in the season as well um, against Assumption. Uh, just talk about some of those things and, and how they uh, – and I guess, you know, through your observation, talking with the players, have they sensed that? Have they noticed it? And they see that the, the progress has been made? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I mean, we had some, some non-league games that we won earlier in the season uh, that, were, that, were, that were decent wins. Um, and, uh, you know, we beat a Mercy team that's, uh, that's a pretty good team that, uh, you know, they beat St. Anselm. So that, that was a good win for us. Uh, you know, we won some games in conference this year, and, uh, you know, we beat an assumption team that we've never beaten before, uh, and we beat uh, American International, who fielded the, their best team that they've ever had this year. Uh, so those are, those are other good wins for us. And, uh, you know, there were some games that, that we were competitive in that we were never competitive in before. Um, you know, we're, St. Michael's was a game that we were winning midway through the third quarter, um, kind of ran out of gas, and, uh, and uh you know, did not win that game, uh, and the same thing with Pace. The game we won in the mid, mid third quarter, and uh, again ran out of gas. And uh, that's, um, you know, th that's probably uh, due to, to the lack of uh, of depth that we have in the team. And we'll, you know, we put a pretty good squad on the team, but you need, you know, we run, uh, you know, we run about uh, 18 to to 20, 21 uh, players a game, and uh, we just didn't have that depth this year. But uh, we're pretty solid up front, and uh, we got some good wins. And uh, we were competitive in some games that uh, Franklin Pierce never been competitive in before. So it's a, a big step forward. And yes, the guys, uh, you know, they they obviously have noticed it, and uh, it's built some some, some momentum in uh, in their confidence. And uh, we want to take that into next year. Coach, uh, congrats on the the late season uh, awards here and the success that the teams had. And, and good luck to, uh, during the summer and and then into next season. Well, hey, thanks. Uh, you know, we're, we're proud of what we've done this year, and uh, really looking forward to next season. Thanks, Coach.